Okay, here's a stupid statement. Everyone poops. Even chickens. But chickens don't pee. Their urine is in their poop itself. If you do not do something about the poop, um, either manage it with deep litter or with, um, like I use sand right here, like a kitty litter box, then ammonia can build up inside their quarters. Um, and it, and it's bad for them. Oh, Martha, what's the matter? You okay, sweetie? Nellie's not gonna bother you, are you, Nellie? All right, watch out, baby. Beep, 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 beep. Chicken crushed by ladder. Film at 11, okay. Chicken poop. Comes in all different flavors, sizes consistencies all of these that you see are normal all normal because people will post on chicken boards all the time and disgusting they're disgusting yes they poop on their roosts they poop on the sides of the kitty litter box they poop on the insides of the kitty litter box it's green oh no what does that mean nothing it's chicken poop it's white it's a little runny. Eh, not a big deal. A little runny. Eh, not a big deal. Depends on what they've been eating. Depends on if they've been getting around a lot, like walking a lot. Depends on what kinds of foods they got into. Whether they got more water than usual. Maybe it's like something juicy like a watermelon. Normal. Pretty normal. Oh, there's feathers in it. Normal. Normal. And very smelly. So chicken poop comes in all different flavors, all different types, runny, smooth, hard. It's easier to scoop <laughs> when it's frozen, <laughs> but that's not always the case. So and they're going to poop everywhere. See, so they poop on the walls, they poop on the roosts, yeah, there's a big one right there, on this roost, or they were sitting up here and they pooped down. Your, um, your <laughs> roosts on the top are usually the most clean ones because that's where the dominant chickens hang out is the top. So when, they're po when there's poop down here, it's from the ones on the top. And sometimes the chickens that are unlucky enough to be in the second roost get pooped on because they're just less dominant in the um, pecking order. But all of these, again, these are all pretty normal. And people that are just starting with chickens, they're, they get concerned all the time. Now, a couple things that I noticed, because when I'm out here every day, I have poop thoughts. <laughs> it's like random thoughts I'm, I'm thinking about, I want to tell you guys about, while I'm scooping the poop, but I just haven't done it yet. So you can see that most are pretty decent in diameter, or they're just big balls. Mm -hmm. And those are probably going to be from your hens that are laying. The hens that are laying. They're going to give you those nice big balls like that. What you're going to see from the younger rooster or younger chickens and roosters, you're going to see more like pellets. See how they're just smaller? They're skinnier. Skinnier. And if you think about it logically, your young hens where's one another one uh, I thought I saw some more your young hens are going to give you smaller poops because they haven't had any eggs come out of their cloaca which is where they lay the eggs where they lay the eggs is also where their poop comes out so the poop is going to be a smaller diameter that one's these are smaller this is where some of the young ones that we just adopted hang out that one and that one over there we also get them from the roosters because obviously here's some smaller poops on top of big poops this is probably uh from one of the young ones too the concern that you would have about chicken poop is one is gross so wear gloves if you can if you're doing this way 
Um, but the concern that you would have with chicken poop is if it is, um, let's see, what was I going to tell you? If it is like a pink look, if it's like, um, if it kind of looks like, if there's eggs in it, like eggshells, that might be cause for concern. What else? Um, if there's like a pink, like, Pussy, junky thing. Like I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Um, when we first started off, a couple of our chickens got uh, peritonitis, which is an infection in the insides of them, and it caused their poop to look like a glob of, I don't know, like a glob of, I don't know, like. Not cells, but it's hard to describe. I should post a photo so you guys can see what that looked like. And, or you can look it up, like peritonitis in um, chickens. And it's an infection in their, their insides. I believe it's actually in the ovary duct where the eggs are made. So they will, if they get that, there's not a lot of treatment that can be done for them. They will lose weight and they will probably die. Um, some people say it is infectious. So you want to isolate the chickens. But the whole part is too that chickens are social creatures. So if you put a chicken in isolation for long periods of time, you might not do very well as it is. Um, so that's one kind of poop to look for. The other kind of poop to look for, I love this. This is a broken rake. And it's so handy to crease the reach, to get the stuff off. Um, another kind of poop to look for is bloody. Although sometimes bloody poop can happen with your new layers. Consider the size of the hole before they lay. <laughs> They're trying to get an egg out. Consider the size of the egg. I have actually seen blood on eggs in the last couple weeks, but these were also newer colors. So these are chickens that had um, had uh, just laid. They had just started laying eggs. So again, the size of their coyoca before they start having the chicken, or before they start laying the eggs, and the size after. Like having a cat scooping chicken poop is really pretty simple. It's not hard at all. In the spring, I will be cleaning off these um, roofs really, really well. I'm going to scrub them down because I don't want them standing on poop. It can lead to infections like bumblefoot. For now, I'm not concerned much because it will end up being frozen because we're still in winter. Another thing to watch for is if the poop is all congregated in one area. So like right now, my whole top roost gets filled with chickens. Totally filled with chickens. And then there's a couple that are on the second roost. If I came in in the morning to scoop, big truck. If I came in in the morning to scoop the poop, and all the poop was on one side and not the other, that would be, give me cause for concern. I might look up and maybe there's a possum, or maybe there was raccoon tracks at the door, and it made them fearful, and they wanted to stay on one side. Sometimes the enemy is in the coop and has to be taken care of for their safety. I would be concerned if I didn't see any poop. I'd be like, wait a minute, where were they staying? Were they, was there something going on with the roost that they don't like? That's Martha giving dinosaur calls. Usually dinosaur calls mean 
that the chicken is broody, going broody. So she wants to be a mom and will um, lay eggs and wants to sit on them. But I think Marta just started laying. I've been trying to monitor her eggs. And I think she just started laying. Let's see. Is that about it? It's a bunch of it. I'm mostly concerned with the larger clumps. And the good thing about this, the um, sand is that all the wet stuff gets dried up. And it's not as smelly when, uh, when I go to scoop it. Okay. If your coop is smelly, then you need to add more uh, material to ah, absorb up those odors. There's a little bit more right there. A little bit. I'm not going to do it perfectly, but I am going to do it. This table I built can come sliding out to do a full coop wash down if I need to, or in those times that I would like to. So it is freestanding. I can move it at any time. The coop is large enough that I could um, also add to it. The plan I had was to uh, have roofs on top with the sand table below that I would scoop and then underneath nest box. Not quite how that happened. The other caution would be, so maybe you, all your chickens are on one side, all the poop is on one side. Um, you're monitoring your young ones to see when they are going to lay eggs. See if they're laying. Maybe you have a whole lot of them and you don't know if they're laying yet. Keep check checking the poop. Chickens are, <laughs> they tend to be creatures of habit. They, at least as they get older. I know my oldest ones always are here. Greeny and, or, um, yeah, greeny and orange are always over here. Now the other black chickens are st starting to hang out over here with them. Um, my rooster, my young rooster, Jazzy, usually is right here. My old rooster, Luda, is usually right about here. And they kind of stick to where they like to be. So if you're monitoring the poops, <laughs> you're just kind of keeping an eye out. You don't have to be like detailed and document it all and all that kind of stuff. But even if the photo would be handy um, and you see some changes, that's something to look into. You also want to know what rat poop looks like. So if you happen to see it in here, you would be able to handle it because your door to the outside, I mean, anything can come in there at any time. Mice could come in there, although the chickens usually are going to take care of the mice. Rats could come in there. All kinds of things could come in from the outside. Now this door, this pop door that goes to my um, chicken pen is pretty secure because the pen is all around it. But even there, there are some spots that things can um, go in between in the pen. And with spring coming, it's a good idea to be more on the lookout for things like that. All right, poop. I said you need more material if it's smelly. I use the sand up here to collect it in this tin and this metal container. I would not use plastic. Rats like poop. I would use metal if I'm dealing with my poop and keep it in a metal container to make sure that uh, nothing will get into it and eat it. If you want to use deep bedding method, you could use straw like this. I don't use hay because hay has the seeds. I use straw down in the bottom. They're not going to poop as much. Half of their poop comes at night. Half of their concentrated poop comes at night. So this is unconcentrated poop. But I do use straw and I fluff it up to capture all the poop that's on top and mix it in. And then I like to use this in my garden beds in the spring and in the fall when I do clean outs. 
But if you do deep bedding, you can just leave it. Some people like to throw scratch in their deep bedding and let the um, chickens like scratch around it and like till it up on their own. I don't necessarily like to use scratch in the coop itself because it can attract mice. The other reason I fluff up this straw so they don't make nests. I can see over there, there's a depression over there. So they don't make nests in here and decide to lay eggs where I don't want them to lay eggs. And people say, well, you can't control where the chickens are going to lay eggs. No, but you can discourage some and you can be a little proactive. Our um, coop ladder is also movable and removable for scrubbing down and cleaning off. Um, but in the meantime, I would just take my wake it off, wake it off, just wake off the loose stuff. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So right now I've got the roosts and the poop table over here, and they come and go from the pen over to here to the pot door outside. That's especially why I'm raking it up so I can put the cleaner stuff on top and capture up the bad stuff um, and then over here is straw here so they can just lay in it feet stay out of the wind get warm here's the nesting boxes yes they do like to get on top yes they do poop on top chickens like to poop everywhere poop poop is everywhere get ready for it the quicker you can deal with it gloves the right tools etc the better off you're going to be. And then, after the poop is cleared, i put my work light away. We use this to count the chickens too. That's how I can get photos too of the chickens so I can see where they're positioned in the coop itself and on the roosts. Okay. Or if we come out before um, the sun is up, we can use this to get our work done because it's got to get done. Whether you do it first thing in the morning or last thing at night, it's got to get done. If you do it while the chickens are on the roost, it's kind of gross because they can poop on your hands. <laughs> or they say, oh, thank you so much for cleaning up our space. Let me poop some more. Um, and then the last thing I do is eggs. Check for eggs. That one's a fake one. That one's a fake one. This is a real one. Oops, and it's very little. Oh, and it's got poop on it. Oh no, not putting that in my pocket. Yeah, this was the poop pan. I'll take that out, just drop it on the floor. Ugh. Fake egg, waiting on Marta. Wondering if she's really a rooster. Hoping she's not. She's one of my Swedish flower hens. And then somebody had been laying in here. I found a couple eggs up here, which is fine good it's not secured I probably need to secure it if they're going to use it but they also like to get up and look out the windows and things like that so anyway that's that about poop it's a messy job but like owning a cat if you use sand it's so much easier so much easier and then our coop is uh, elevated a bit oh here's the other part I keep we did use a latch to pull open the latch on the outside so we didn't get stuck inside. But now we installed a hook on the inside of the coop to keep the door closed, keep things from coming in or out while we're doing our business and easily open it up to get there. But I was gonna show you, it's a little elevated so it'd be easy enough to put something like a tarp there and just rake it all out. Um, and then I also have non stick strips right here at the door and linoleum is what's covering the platform to keep it easier getting in and out what what is the problem no one's bothering you Martha does it hurt coming out I'm sorry baby I'm sorry I'm sorry baby you gonna see what's going on, Shekinah? Is she okay? Is she gonna be okay?
It'll be okay, Marta. It's okay, Marta. Oh, even, Z even uh, Luda's up here. Checking it out. What's going on with my lady? I'm not doing anything, Luda. You're okay. You okay, Marta? You gonna be her birth coach, Shekinah? Help her get it out? I should probably leave her to it. I'll come back and check. So that's what I do when I'm monitoring, too, is I'll check and see one, two, three. So she's in the fourth spot. So I'm gonna come back and see if it was her that laid in the fourth spot. Take okay, this poop bag. This poop bag comes inside, and I'm not gonna wash it. I'll just let it air dry. But we would use this one probably first, and so we're not going to um, give it away. It does not go in the curtains. All right, that is all. And we will find out later if that was. Nice all right, take good care of her, Shekinah.